What's happening, guys? Kevin here from SportsBoxBreaks.com coming at you live Thursday night, May 19th, 2022. Breaking our final 2022 Panini Diamond Kings baseball. This is the 12 box case break number four. Who has who in the break? Diamondbacks going to Greg S., the Braves for Travis S., the Orioles, Dan B. Uh, Red Sox, Cubs, and the White Sox all belong to Joe W. The Reds for Tom H., the Guardians for Rick B., Colorado Rockies, Tommy K. The Tigers going to Russell L. Astros, Travis S. The KC Royals, Robert T. The Angels for James D. We got the Dodgers going to Robert T. The Marlins for Dan B. The Milwaukee Brewers, Christopher J. Minnesota Twins, Tony K. New York Mets, Josh G. The Yankees for Mike T. Oakland A's for John G. The Phillies for Joe W. Pirates, Henry T. San Diego Padres for Torian T. San Fran Giants for Joe W. The Mariners, Travis S. The Cardinals, Dan B. Big Boy Team, which was the last team to get picked up, which is the Tampa Bay Rays, going off to Aaron F. Aaron, good luck. Let's see some wander action for sure. Once again, Rays for Aaron. We got the Texas Rangers for Joe W. We got the Toronto Blue Jays for Richard H. And the Washington Nationals going to Melvin D. All right, guys, here it is. All cards will ship to you, as always. All the previous ones, I was really trying my best to get this one sold out on the last break session. That way I would have been able to bulk it in with uh, the previous breaks, but we just couldn't get it there. We, we stalled out at 6. So here it is on a brand new break night. So this will ship out in the next shipping batch leaving Vegas. The other ones have already shipped. <clears throat> uh, opening it from the bottom here, as I like to do, so that the boxes stand the correct orientation when you flip them out of here. All right, there they are. Boom. There it is. Let's count them. Four on top, four in the middle, four on the bottom. Let's start up here. I'm running out of garbage space here. <laughs> Diet Coke to wash it down, of course. Come on. What kind of respecting fast food American would I be if I didn't wash down 5,000 calories with the Diet Coke? And that's an empty box. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. Boxes one and two. I still don't know if we've come across any of those Lace Sync Pubell cards. If we have, I just didn't even recognize what they are. Ultra rare inserts. Including the blackout and the lace sink. So maybe we haven't, because uh, I don't know. Certainly don't remember French writing or anything on anything. I don't know if it is French writing, but. We have guys doing a little. Uh, so we had a built in barbecue built for us in the fall of last year. We use it, it's great. So I had the same guys doing a couple little projects in the backyard uh, the last couple of days, well, they started today. They're out there in 103 degrees, you know, digging holes and pouring concrete footers and stuff. I love them. I kept bringing them water. I felt like, you know, I felt guilty having these Having these dudes out there doing their thing. <laughs> what? What are you? What are we talking? Let's see. They're not really tortillas. What do they? What do they make them with then? 
I remember the big like thing about Taco Bell years ago was like, oh, it's grade D beef. I'm like, no, it's not grade D beef. That's been debunked. <laughs> See, there it is. Travis talking about. Whatever it is, it's gosh darn delicious. I'm struggling to get these packs open. I'm like my old my old hands are getting the arthritis, I think. All right, here we go, fellas. First two boxes. Yeah, the grade D beef was like a big urban legend for years, and uh, it turns out, of course, it was nonsense, but I know it's not pure beef. They mix it with some kind of filler so that it's so soft, but um, yeah, enough about Taco Bell. Let's see some cards, shall we? Ground up cockroaches? I mean, hey, I'm okay with that. It's a protein source. All right, let's get the camera focused. Whit Merrifield KC coming at the top. Mickey. We got a Yepes rookie. Bruhan, rookie. Rogers Hornsby. Curtis Terry. All right. Uh, plum frame of Shane Baz. First frame card. Tampa Bay, Shane Baz. Plum frame. Bo Bichette, artist palette. <laughs> I see your guys' conversation going on. These are the best conversations when you get into the fast food talk. All right. Gray frame of Patrick uh, Mazika for the Mets. Vladdy Jr. aficionado. Chris Bryant, Gallery of Stars. Vladdy Jr. McCormick. Mickey with an elegance. All right, here's our last gray frame. It is TJ uh, Friedel. TJ Friedel for Cincinnati. Let me get this camera down a little bit, a tad bit more. Trey Turner, artist palette, Brandon Marsh, rookies. All right, here comes our first hit, and it's going to be Ryan Jeffers for Minnesota. The enclosed player warm material and autograph. So this is going to be a relic auto. It's falling out of my hand. For Minnesota, it's an Artistic Endeavors, right out of box number one. Relic Auto Artistic Endeavors for Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota going to Tony. There you go, Tony. Nice one. Artistic Endeavors. Christian Yelich. Francisco with the Modern Strokes. And Al Kaline Aficionado. Here comes the last of it. Shane Baz. And here we go. How about some old school Bat Kings for New York? Charlie Keller. Bat Kings. Pretty cool. Old school action right there. Charlie Keller. Bat Kings. Crawford Elegance. And here we go. There's, like I said, they usually average about one per box. There's a Wander rookie. One per box. Going off to Aaron. Maestros of Otani and O'Reilly Adams, rookies. All right, box number one down. Guys, let's see a one of one in here. Let's see a crazy downtown or a one of one or maybe both. <clears throat> Randy Johnson, Maestros of Robbie Ray. And how about a Vladdy Jr.? Art Nouveau for Toronto. This one goes to Richard. There you go, buddy. Art Nouveau Relic. Vladdy Jr. for Toronto. Nice. Yeah, where do they find a Charlie Keller bat? I don't know. There's got to be a warehouse full of, like, old-school player uh, memorabilia, I imagine, right? They just cut it up into 4,000 pieces and uh, sell it off to the card companies. All right, Tony Gwynn. All right, gray frame of Jake Berger for Chicago. A Duran one of one. 
All right, you got it, Joe. Order taken. Can we fulfill that order? If it pulls in this box, that would be ridiculous. All right, what do we got? Little Manny Machado numbering to 99, artist proof for San Diego. Very cool. Akuna. Modern Strokes of Juan Soto. <laughs> Jake Delicious Burger. With cheese, extra bacon. Carlos Correa. Curtis Terry. How about a TJ Friedel Plum Frame? Plum Frame Cincinnati once again. <clears throat> Probably got more for the bat than the whole career. Probably right. There's another Wander. One per box so far on the Ave. Wander rookie. Bo Bichette, gray frame for Toronto. Nice. Mikey Trout. There's a Jaron Duran. So Jaron Duran rookies. And we are looking for autos. What do we got here? We got some Texas action on the board with a Yongjong Yang for Texas. And that's going to be another artistic endeavor. So two boxes so far, two artistic endeavors with the relic autos. Nice. Texas spot in this one goes to Joe. Ernie Banks, Art of Hitting. Maestros of Abreu and then Andre Jackson for LA rookies in the last card. All right. Boxes one and two. <laughs> Say that name three times. I know. Say any of these names. We did get, yeah, we got the Vladdy Jr., the Keller. So four hits, two hits per box. I felt like they missed a hit in there, but it's just my brain missing the counting of the second hit. All right, here we go, guys. Two more. I went into Walmart yesterday. There's a wa oh, there's Walmarts everywhere here, but there's one pretty close to our house. I went in. I picked something up. I wasn't even in the store six minutes. I come outside. Guys, I'm getting a little older. I'm pretty, you know, still pretty sharp for the most part, like mental, you know, acuity. I looked for my car for ten minutes. I'm walking four different aisles. I kind of had an idea where the car was. I had to go four different freaking aisles. I'm like, how is this possible? I'm like, did my car get stolen? No. I'm just an old man that has brain fog. That's basically what it is. I found it eventually. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to be calling Kathy and telling her my car got stolen. I'm not kidding you, Travis. I'm like, okay. Like, this happens once in a great while, but this was, like, excessive. I wasn't even in there five minutes. Oof. Not cool. Not cool. <laughs> I wish I were, then at least I'd have an excuse. Park in the same aisle all the time. Tommy, that's a good move. That is a good move. <laughs> I went, so like imagine if these four boxes represent the four rows. I was parked in the far right one. I went to this one first, then I went to this one, then I went to the third one, and then I thought I might have missed it, so I went back to that row here. I'm hitting the uh, unlock on the car so I can see the lights flashing. I didn't want to be obnoxious and hit the panic so that it would start like wailing the horn off and all that shit. Then I finally went to the last row and I'm like, oh, well that makes perfect sense why I didn't see it as I was walking through here. Yeah. Don't get old. All right. One box. I was going to say, kind of a thick card there. <laughs> oh, man. The worst is in the casino. Like, you know, these casinos are massive out here, so if you park in the casino parking garages, 
if you lose it in one of those things, I mean, you could be... It's like that episode of Seinfeld. Remember that episode of Seinfeld where they're walking around with an air conditioner and they lost the car for, like, hours? And, like, he, he has to go to the bathroom, so he does, like, public urination in the parking structure and doesn't he get, like, arrested for it? You lose your car in one of these casino parking garages, you better be prepared to spend some time. All right, box three, box four. Let's do it. All right, Bruhan, Cabrera, Whit Merrifield, Curtis Terry, Maestros of Miggy. Tim Anderson aficionado. And here's our plum frame. It is Luis Frias for Arizona. Now I'm a little too low on the camera. Let's go and nudge up. Arizona going to Greg S. Getting the plum frame. Congrats. Cedric Mullins artist palette. <clears throat> we got a Hans Kraus Philadelphia with the gray frame. Nolan Arenado, Gallery of Stars. There's Jaron again. Jaron Duran one more time with that variation on the rookies. Stan the man. What do we got here? Numbering to 99, Blue Maestros of Tatis. Really cool. 5 of 99, San Diego. That looks like a different picture on these as well. San Diego going off to that is uh, T. Nice, uh, nice card right there, T. A little sneaky one in there. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty neat looking. There we go. Elegance of Wander. And there's a standard rookie of Wander. So the Wander uh, activity heating up a little bit here. All right, what about? How about some uh, portrait materials of Hayes? Brian Hayes for the Pittsburgh spot. Pittsburgh goes to Henry. Little jersey relic and bat relic, I believe. Pittsburgh on the board for you, Henry. Portrait materials of Hayes. Maestros of Molina. So what's the auto going to be? Artist palette of Killebrew. <laughs> I'm telling you. It really bothered me. It bothered me because I'm like, I just came in here five minutes ago. How is this even happening? We got a gray frame of Ichiro. I was convinced for a minute that the car was stolen. I mean, I don't have an expensive car. And I'm like, who the hell bought my car? All right, Seth Beer. And what do we got? We got Tony Santillan. DK Material Signatures. We've pulled him a couple times across some of these, and that is going to be Cincinnati to 99. Little dual relic auto. The Cincinnati spot goes to Tom H. 19 of 99. He does sign a nice auto. Little two color patch on the left. Mel Ott, Art of Hitting, and the last one is Matt Manning. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's like 53 Walmarts here in the greater Las Vegas area. They're everywhere. All right, I got something there. Cool Papa Bell. Oh, goodness. Well, here it is. We pulled this a couple times across these breaks. It is a rookie expression of Wander for Tampa Bay. Final team pickup, final team karma for Aaron. And there it is. Rookie expression. A little something. Let's start it up. Maybe the next one's going to have ink. Rookie expression of Wander. Congrats, Aaron.
Will we see a Wander rookie in here along with it? Double stacked. Got a Colton Welker gray frame. And there it is, Rookie of Wander. So they gave you the hit, and they gave you a little something extra there. What do we got? Artist Proof to 49, Jake Delicious Burger. There he is. Chicago with extra toppings, 34 out of 49, Jake Burger. Going off to Joe. Delicious. Freddie Freeman, Gallery of Stars. <clears throat> The people of Walmart. Oh, I remember the people of Walmart. That was kind of a viral sensation a few years back, if I remember. The people of Walmart website. I mean, hey, I'm not too proud to say I shop there. I know it's like, uh, how about a Joe Cronin Boston plum frame? Some old school Boston action plum frame. I know many years ago, um, you know, Walmart was looked at as like killing of, you know, downtown America, but... It is what it is. It just, you know, became where you have to shop. We got a Joe Cronin Boston gray frame. Gray frame. And here it comes, guys. Here comes DK Material Signatures, I believe. Or no, yeah, DK Material Signature of Mike Bauman. Mike Bauman. And that is going to be for Baltimore. The scribble is in full effect on that one. Baltimore going off to Dan B. Mike Bauman... Dual Relic Auto for you, bud. Perez. Josh Donaldson and Aaron Ashby, last one in rookies. All right. Four boxes down, which puts us at the one-third mark of the way in. So two-thirds left. Chugging along, guys. Chugging along. Guys, thanks for getting this one filled up. Do appreciate it. We'll have the uh, Gypsy Queen on Monday just because that shipment, uh, I believe, went out late from our distributors. So we probably won't even have it in our hands tomorrow, which is why you're not seeing it on the lineup for tomorrow. We are lining it up for Monday, though. So Gypsy Queen is on the website for sale, but it won't be lined up until Monday. I believe Jason's going to be breaking that one. I think that's where our shipments are going. Which will be never, since I can't seem to find that car. I'm going to need one of those things, like, you know, they have the, uh, the little ring. Are they ring? They're not like ring like the doorbell company. They're um, like these little tiles that you put on things. They're almost like uh, an Apple AirTag kind of deal. And they link up to the phone so that you can't lose your keys. Or Are they called tile maybe? I'm going to have to just put one of those on the car itself.
You know, Tommy, I don't think any of them exist out here. Uh, we had one back in uh, Dixon City, back in uh, PA, but I don't think all the exists out here. <laughs> don't smoke before Kev goes live. I love it. I was telling Kathy about them because she had never even heard of Aldi. I think I might have heard that they were potentially coming around like the southwest areas now, but I don't know that they're actually here yet. All right, here we go, here we go. But I remember shopping an Aldi back in the day. You had to put your 25, you know, your quarter in to return your shopping cart because... It's a pretty ingenious system, so as not to uh, have to employ uh, cart kids. Take a cart. It costs you 25 cents to get a cart out of the lockup, and then you get your 25 cents back when you put your cart back in place. Ingenious, I say. All right, Plum Frame of Trainer. Some old school Pittsburgh right here. Plum Frame. So a couple old schools on the frames so far. We got a Luke Williams, not old school, Philadelphia gray frame. Mel Ott for New York. New York Giants. And what do we got here? Artist palette blue to 99 of Josh Donaldson. Pretty cool looking. Minnesota, Josh Donaldson to 99. Maestros of Tris Speaker. There's Wander again. So another, we're averaging one rookie. And here comes our first of two hits. DK Materials. So this should be a dual relic. Seth Beer. It is. Seth Beer for Arizona. Arizona going to Greg S. Greg S. You know what I miss grocery store wise? If we're talking about just really good quality grocery stores, I miss Wegmans. If you guys have Wegmans where you're at, I know Wegmans was more of a northeast, started in like upstate New York, worked its way down. We had it in Pennsylvania as early as like 93, 94. But Wegmans was great, man. Definitely miss Wegmans. I mean, we have good stuff out here. We got, you know, Trader Joe's and of course, you know, Whole Foods and all that. But actual regional family owned places like Wegmans are the shit. Aaron Ashby with the gray frame. Ichiro, aficionado. Plus, and there's a Jaron Duran rookies. Wegmans had a great sandwich shop. Like they had their whole like food court thing, and uh, they made some pretty amazing like subs in that food court. Danny's favorite, all that stuff. Here we go. How about a Contreras coming up? DK Material Signatures. That is, oh, that's nice. Pittsburgh on the board, seventy-four of ninety-nine. Pittsburgh going to Henry. 74 of 99, a little three-color action on the left. Congrats, nice hit. And I see Wander right here. How about an elegance of Wander? And then Domingo Esavado. Not Domingo Leba. The fake Domingo. <clears throat> All right, let's keep rolling. <laughs> Here's a good story for you. You guys won't know who the hell I'm talking about. But, like, back in the day when, like, poker was really, really big on television, like, you'd see poker on TV, like, every hour of the hour. I'm talking, like, 2006, 2007. There was a couple guys. They were, like, older guys that had, like, had some prominence in poker. And there was this one guy. The hell was his name? Steve Zolotow was the guy's name. And we go, yesterday we go to uh, P.F. Chang's over here in Henderson. And who's at the table next to us with a group of people but Steve Zolotow? And, you know, I'm not going to say anything to the guy. He's not. He's, like, probably, like, an F-list celebrity at most, you know. But the funny part about this guy is, remember the show Cat House that was on HBO? That you know, was like almost like a reality show inside these brothels in um, Pahrump in Nevada. Otto Lopez is our plum frame for Toronto. In one of the episodes, not that I watched it on the regular, okay, but in one of the episodes, who's in there just kind of hanging out in the background 
as like a client, but Steve Zolotel. And I, <laughs> I was telling Kathy this story, and there's the guy just sitting next to us, you know. We know your secret, Steve Zolotel. Mike Trout, gray frame. Gray frame. Yeah, I mean, Amazon's my jam for sure. Even stupid, like, you know, stuff that you can get right at Walmart. If I don't, there's a Luis Gill. I think that's the first appearance of Luis Gill. What do we got here? Xander with an artist proof. That's a nice low number as well. Four, or 19 out of 49 for the Boston spot and Joe. There you go, Joe. Jackson, Glenn Otto. What do we got? O'Neill Cruz is our next hit. O'Neill Cruz. That Pittsburgh spot is heating up, fellas. Pittsburgh once again. Contreras a minute ago. Now a dual relic DK materials of O'Neill Cruz for the Pittsburgh spot. Yeah, Steve does have a couple bracelets. Yep, you are correct, sir. He was an old school guy that was involved in the poker scene and the poker world long before it really got notoriety in the, like, early mid 2000s all right here's another wander tampa bay tampa bay going to aaron i think he was a little bit slightly involved or at least like when full tilt poker was around he was like in that group a little bit they employed him what do we got Contreras, pittsburgh with the gray frame All right, next hit's going to be coming up in a second here. How about an Andre Jackson? DK Material Signature. Nice. Dodgers, good-looking auto there, too. Andre Jackson, Los Angeles Dodgers going to Robert T. Little dual relic auto, DK Material Signatures. Congrats. Got the dog bark bringing us into the second half. That'll do it right there for that one. Six boxes left to open. Six boxes down. All right, here come the next two. Stevie Z. I text, of course, I had to text Jason. I said, "We're at the PF Chains, and who's at the next table over?" But Steve Zolotow, and. Uh, his immediate response is, that guy's still fucking alive? Excuse my language. <laughs> I'm like, in the flesh, buddy. There, there he sits. Alive and apparently well. Yeah, P.F. Chang's was really good. I mean, we don't go there super often. There's a few of them around the area, but we don't hit them super often. And uh, it was quite good. It's no Taco Bell. I'm just going to throw that out there, okay? It's no Taco Bell. So here's a place you guys may or may not know of. I think it's more West Coast, but um, Tommy's Original Burgers. I've never had it. For some reason, it's on my radar lately. We keep passing by one that's on St. Rose Parkway over here near Henderson. And it's like burgers and fries, but like really more so known for like chili burgers and chili fries and like stuff like that. What do you guys know of Tommy's? I definitely think it's a West Coast deal, maybe like Los Angeles specific. That's the thing, if you guys don't realize, like a lot of these restaurants that end up in Vegas are like longtime staple restaurants in the LA area and of course they make their way here. <clears throat> I have never tried it, but 
It is on my radar, yet to try it. It's just a burger joint, really. Yeah, Tommy's, yeah, never heard of it. Yeah, it might be more like Southern California, Southern, you know, Southwest. All right, here we go. Box number, what is this, eight? Because we have four left, which makes nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, this is box number eight. Yeah, Google it up. Check out their menu. It's, it's just fast food. It's just a burger joint, but it's like really, you know, sloppy chili burgers and stuff. It looks gosh darn delicious. All right, Javier Baez, Gallery of Stars. Aficionado of K-Line. All right, what do we got? Plum frame of Tyler McGill, rookie for New York. Brandon Crawford, elegance. Gray frame of Vladdy Jr. Gray frame. Harper, <laughs> I, you know, definitely for me, Harper and City. I would have to take like an Omeprazol, you know, an hour ahead on that one for sure. Considering that my favorite Harper medicine, which is Zantac, is still not back on the market. I'm still upset about that. It's the only Harper med that really worked. All right, here's Tony again. 89 of 99 artist proof for Cincinnati. All right, we're coming up on our hits. And here's one of them. How about a Devers? Devers, Art Nouveau for Boston. Joe getting another one for the Boston spot. Art Nouveau Relic, Rafael Devers. Congrats, Joe. Castellanos aficionado. I've even tried to look up, like, can you get, like, the generic form of Zantac out of Mexico? Like, it's not even available there now. There's a Wanda rookie. One per box on every box thus far. Uh, rookie's gray frame of Riley Adams for Washington. And here's a Matt Veerling. DK Material Signature coming up here. That is going to be Philadelphia on the board. Matt Veerling. Philadelphia going to Joe also. There you go, Joe. Congrats, congrats. Maestros and Morgan Rookie. Last one. Now, mind you, I know the reason they took the Zantax off the shelf is because they supposedly had like a cancer-causing agent in the production process of them. But, okay, so if they had a cancer-causing agent in the production process, then wouldn't they modify the production process to remove that and still offer the, the stuff out of the market? But apparently not. I digress. Let's look at cards. How about a plum frame? All the old school plum frames coming up here tonight. Ed Roush. Yeah, what doesn't anymore? Exactly. Everything's cancer causing. You grill your food, it's got, you know, char on it. That's cancer causing. Cincinnati Ed Roush plum frame. Did you guys know that? I don't know if you know that. Supposedly, any burnt food, like especially grilled, that's charred with a little blackened on it, is a carcinogen, a cancer-causing agent. Devers, gray frame. Art of hitting, Ty Cobb. Yeah, but you can still buy tobacco, of course. Big money in tobacco, right? Big money. Gray frame of Duran, nice. Death by barbecue. I mean, I'll take that death. Jaron Duran, gray frame. Jimmy Fox aficionado. Jaron Duran without the gray frame rookies. Last couple cases have heated up like big time in the last like whatever four boxes. 
Can we uh, find that same trend? Lars and Newt Bar with Nougat. DK Material Signatures coming up on this one. That's going to be St. Louis. St. Louis going to Dan. little dual relic auto for you, Dan. Congrats. Maestros. Andre Jackson. <coughs> Wander Rookie. A lot of Wander Rookies popping up. Plus that one relic. Uh, what do we got? Numbering to 49, Artist Proof. Joe Ryan from Minnesota. Pretty cool. Artist Proof Rookie. Minnesota going to Tony. Nice one, Tony. Jackie Robinson. Maestros of Jose Abreu. And what do we got? We got numbering to 99. So 42 of 99, Art Nouveau for uh, Philadelphia. Alec Bohm, this is going to be Joe's also. Nice numbering. 42 of 99 on that one. Art Nouveau Relic. All right, guys, we're two-thirds of the way through. Two-thirds, one-third left. Can we see that trend? Like I mentioned, the last four or so boxes being absolute fire. Be fun if it did. Let's see. Maybe see a downtown. Maybe see a one-of-one. One. Empty box and an empty box. Here we go. <clears throat> so did you guys go out and buy your Top Gun Maverick tickets early for next week? I'm sure you all did, right? <laughs> I do want to see it. I'm not going to lie. The nostalgia is, uh, is going to get the better of me. And that's a movie I might actually go to the theater to see. Kathy, as most of you guys, or a good deal of you guys know, Kathy, my fiance, works for, uh, she works for Ray-Ban, you know, the glasses company, and a big deal with, uh, you know, those Top Gun movies is the Aviator sunglasses, so they're doing an event out in San Diego next week, a couple days prior to the actual release of the movie, they're, uh, having like an early screening and some of their like clients in the San Diego market are going to be there and all this stuff. Some of the like salespeople are wearing like, I don't know, like flight suits and crazy stuff. Thick card alert there guys. Thick card alert. But anyway, long story short, she's going to be out in San Diego hanging out at a early premiere of that movie with the Ray-Ban crowd, which is kind of fun. That movie was filmed over two years ago. It got held up because of uh, because of COVID. And another thick card alert. Fatty Boom Blatty times two here, Joe. One there, one here. Fatty, fatty, boom -baladi. That's me after the Mexican pizza, okay? I should go walking around the block a few times with the dogs after uh, the sun goes down and after the break session's over. Will I do that? I don't know. It's a good thought. Will it happen? Maybe. It's like every day I say, oh, I got that gym membership at uh, EOS. It's a great gym. Just go later at night. Couch is way better. Oh, stay where you are, guys. Stay where you are. All right. Here we go. So each of these stacks has uh, a really thick card. This one's near the bottom, so let's work this left side down first.
Here we go. <laughs> go back to, ta I actually have a few leftovers, although Taco Bell doesn't hold up to being leftovers. It's kind of disgusting an hour later. And no, it's not disgusting when you first get it. It's delicious. We got a Marte with a gray frame, Arizona. But two, three hours later, if you try to eat those, uh, they don't really hold up. How about, ooh, baby. Well, it's not the Tampa Bay player you were looking for, Aaron, but I don't think you're going to turn it away. How about a Brujan DK Material Signatures? So DK Material Signatures, very nice, buddy. That might be the first one of his I've seen in this stuff. So Tampa Bay with some love right here. Little dual relic auto. It's uh, quite the auto. It's a V and a scribble and uh, a B. There you go. Still not bad. Not bad, not bad. Aaron, congrats. Congrats. DK Material Signatures. Mickey. Connor Siebold. Sammy Crawford. <clears throat> yeah. Bruhan showing up is a nice treat for that uh, last spot karma for sure. And here's one of the low number, um, I still don't know what color frame we're looking at with this. 24 out of 25, Cal Riley for Seattle. Nice low number frame card right there. Seattle spot, and this one belongs to Travis. This has got to be rigged. Got to be rigged. Congrats, Travis. Modern Strokes. Piece of card from the stamping process when they're stamping them out. <clears throat> so rigged so rigged here's the plum frame of how about a Cal Ripken plum frame Cal Ripken Baltimore plum frame we know we're going to see that thick card when we get toward the end and then another one in pretty short order when we get to the top of that other stack Charlie Blackman Colorado with the gray frame So is the same trend happening? Are these last four boxes like the best of the bunch heating up? Jaron Duran, rookie. <clears throat> what do we got? We got some uh, 46 out of 49, Jimmy Fox. Nice artist proof right there. Jimmy Fox, Boston, old school stuff aplenty in this uh, 12 boxes. All right, here comes the thick card, guys. It's coming up. Wander Rookie in front of it, or a couple cards in front of it anyway. Ooh, all right. What do we got? Romy Gonzalez for Chicago. White Sox to 50. 40 out of 50 rookie expressions. Joe on the ownership. I mean, it's weird that it's just kind of a napkin jersey, right? But nice card nonetheless. Rookie expression. Gonzalez numbered to 50. 40 out of 50. I was expecting a little more on the patch piece itself, but not bad. Guys, is this one of them? Is this the blackout? That's the first one of those I've seen. Randy Johnson, I'm pretty sure that's the blackout, isn't it? Seattle going to Travis. That is rigged. B014, so that's got to be blackout. That's the blackout card, right? Congrats, buddy. Nice hit. Sneaking in there. I'm going to sleeve that one up for you right now. That's the first one I've seen. That's the only one we've pulled across all of these so far. Very cool. Nice one there, Travis. Randy Johnson, Seattle blackout card. Oh, it says it right here as well. Hello, Kevin. Go find your car. <laughs> Blackout of Randy Johnson for Seattle. That's a beauty, Travis. Congrats, buddy. Ty France, Pujols, and Joe Ryan, last one in that stack. All right, guys. The heat up is officially on. The heat up is officially on. Can we find some downtown as well? I don't see chrome, which would indicate a downtown. Tony Gwynn downtown, you got it, bud. 
Let's do it. We got a plum frame once again. Uh, old school action here for St. Louis with the George Sisler. Plum frame. Marcus Simeon. The Art of Hitting, Joe Jackson. All right, here comes that other. It looks like it's another rookie expression. O'Neill Cruz in front of it, and here it is. It is a rookie expression. It's also going to be to 50. Uh, Curtis Terry from Minnesota. Minnesota goes to Tony. There we go. Little uh, triple color action. The old red, white, and blue rookie expression, Curtis Terry. Pretty cool. So another rookie expression numbered 250. Congrats. Guys, I didn't even see it, but you're looking at a downtown right there. How good are your eyes? Can you make out what that downtown is? Can you make out what that downtown is? Joe, your eyes were good, sir. It is Otani. Angels going to James D. That's uh, that is sweet right there, buddy. Downtown of Otani. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. You guys probably recognize that just the colors, right? Very cool. Otani downtown. I'm gonna sleeve Hill up as well. The Japanese Babe Ruth. Are they still using that moniker? I remember that's what they were trying to call him back in uh, 2017, 2018. When was his rookie year when he hit the scene? The Japanese Babe Ruth was showing up on a bunch of cards. There it is, Los Angeles Angels with a beauty. Congrats once again to James D. And there's a gallery of stars wander. Another old school uh, frame card, uh, trainer for Pittsburgh. I'm telling you, it really is kind of a thing. Saw the arm motion, good call. A little deductive reasoning at its finest there. Here's a Vladdy Jr. numbering to 99, artist proof for Toronto. There's a Wander rookie. Uh, Corey Seager, Gray Frame, Texas. Jaron Duran, rookie. Well, how about a brush strokes for St. Louis of Ted Simmons? Brush strokes auto. The St. Louis spot in this one is who? Dan B. Very cool. That's, ooh, that's a nice auto, and it's to 20. Awesome stuff. Ted Simmons, St. Louis, 17 of 20. Brush strokes. Nice hit. Nice hit indeed. St. Louis on the board with the beauty. O'Neill Cruz, aficionado. Jonathan India and Andre Jackson, last two. All right. <clears throat> that does it for that one. Two boxes left here, gents. Two to go. Stuff is fun, man. It takes a you know, it takes a decent amount of time to get it broken, but. There's a lot going on. It keeps you uh, engaged in it the whole time, for sure. All right, so we pulled the black out. Let's pull one of those Le Sink. Ultra rare. That is empty. Thick card alert. Fatty Boom Blatty right there. So being that it's in the top, uh, the first pack, it's going to be at the bottom of the stacked cards. Fatty, Fatty Boom Blatty. Ah, 
Another big one. Makes me start singing Big Pimpin'. All right. There is that. Yeah, normal fat, not uh, not like Burger King, you know, double whopper fat there. Alright guys, here we go, box 11, box 12. I will hit recap this when we finish up. I'll see if anything came in on personal boxes. And uh, that'll probably be the whole shebang for tonight. Here we go. Flatty Jr. aficionado. First frame card is going to be Jose Ramirez for Cleveland Gray Frame. Bo Bichette, Artist Palette. Mad Brash. All right, here comes our first hit. It is going to be Seth Beer. It is a DK material signature, so we are going to see ink on this one. Seth Beer. <laughs> Go for a double whopper from Burger King. I know, right? Arizona on the board. Going to Greg S. Seth Beer. Dual Relic Auto. With the old scribble action. Congrats, congrats. Chris Bryant, Gallery of Stars. I like a whopper. But, man, those things repeat on me. I don't know if it's that sauce they slather up on them, but Whoppers, holy shit, they repeat on me so bad, like a full day later. Whopper Wednesday for two four. Okay, this is how old I am. And a couple of you guys might remember the, this particular thing. Who remembers the Yumbo from Burger King? I'm just going to hang that out there. Who remembers the Yumbo? It was a sandwich. When I was a kid, this sandwich was around. My father loved it. Seth Beer. We got a Tatis, Modern Strokes. And here is, how about Mule? With a plum frame. So a lot of old schools coming up in the plum frames. T remembers the name. I mean, you can Google it. I'm sure you'll find information on it, but... It was a uh, like a hot ham and cheese, like almost like a like a beef and cheddar from like Arby's. Garrett Cole is one of the gray frames, except it was at Burger King and it came out of Burger King bun, and it was like hot ham and cheese all slathered up together. <clears throat> Yumbo. Do you also remember the Whaler? I think they eventually changed it to the BK Big Fish. That was their, like, fish sandwich, but they called it for years. They called it the Whaler. Yeah, I'm old. Got a Rogers Hornsby Art of Hitting. There's Wander again. A lot of Wander rookies. And here is a portrait materials of Hoskins for Philadelphia. Philadelphia going to Joe. There you go, Joe. A little dual relic action. One white, one off-white. I don't know if that one's just got snot in it or what it has, but one, one of them is very 
startlingly, you know, very nice and bright white, and the other side is not so bright white whatsoever. Reese Hoskins. Shane Bieber and Matt Veerling, Philadelphia, last card. All right, guys, what are we going to have in the last one? Are we going to pull something crazy? There is a thick card right at the bottom of it, so we will see that very near to the end of the break. Brandon Marsh. TJ Friedel. Uh, gray Frame, Cincinnati. <laughs> he very well might have, Joe. He very well might have. Sometimes you just got to use what you have on you, right? Jake Myers for the law office of Jacoby, Jacoby, and Myers. Houston with the plum frame. <laughs> it is. It's like Tide versus the other detergent. That's so accurate. Greg Deichman, rookies. What do we got? A little Jackie Robinson. Very cool. Jackie Robinson, great frame for the Dodgers. Nice. Salvador Perez. I think I see a DK Signatures. Yeah. DK Signatures Auto coming up here in just a few cards. <clears throat> Stroman, O'Neill Cruz, and here it is, guys. How about that Seattle spot? This is a rigged break if I've ever seen it. Seattle going to Travis. Cal Riley DK signatures coming your way, Travis. Go along with the blackout card and some other stuff that was pulled. Very nice, man. DK signatures, Cal Riley. Seattle. Congrats. Rigged, if I've ever seen it. Ozzy Albies. Luis Gill, rookie. We still got that thick card at the end, don't forget. Artist Palette of Scherzer. <clears throat> it's rigged in your favor for once, right? Any casino action lately, Trav? We have been on a run with uh, Ultimate Texas Hold'em. The last three sessions, we've actually won... And won pretty handsomely. Not like jackpot wins, but just like, you know, a nice little chunk here and there. Building up the, the little slush fund bankroll. Jimmy Fox to 99 artist proof for Boston. And here it comes, guys. Thick card alert coming up. Dropped a bunch on Saturday. That's usually what we're doing on a Saturday. We got a Freddie Freeman Gallery of Stars. I'm going slow because I don't want to reveal it in case it's a big one. It is, oh man, it's another Bruhan. So he pulled his auto a while ago with the DK Materials signatures. This one is going to be a DK Materials, but it must be something big because look how thick this guy is. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Five out of 50 on the Tampa Bay spot. Again, you know, we pulled a Wander uh, Relic. Still no Wander Ink across this stuff other than... Did we pull... No, we did. We pulled the Redemption. No. Was it the Redemption in the last one? But nonetheless, Tampa Bay on the board with the beauty right here for you, Aaron. Congrats, DK Materials. Numbering 250. Nice dual patch, and then a couple cards left right here with a Marte Elegance and a Colton Welker rookie card. Guys, thanks again for getting it filled up. These will ship out of the next batch. That leaves Vegas. Thanks again, guys. Do appreciate it.